I happen to be a creature of the night and I think people who work in the stillness of the night, they just observe things very differently. They tune into sounds, they tune into rhythms, which are really the rhythms of the night. When I look at Neeraj Goswami's rich, colorful palette, I see in them the colors of the night. There is one painting that is showing here in Singapore as part of Kala Sutra, which is a showcase of contemporary Indian art. And the artist is here at the Arts House to tell us more about it and his practice, Neeraj Goswami. Neeraj, if I could please ask you to move a little bit closer to your canvas so we can frame up both the canvas and you. And I know your art is rooted in spirituality. You meditate, you work, really you love working at night. And I wanted to find out what really happens when you move into the stillness of the night. Yeah, there is no sound at night and uh, you know, all the visual uh, uh, shapes in the painting have vibrations which create sound in you, which can be felt through the eye. So to hear that subtle sound, you need you know, stillness of the night, silence. And that helps you to go inside, deep inside you, you know, trace your roots inside, your essence go to the consciousness, your soul. So these are the words, but uh, the main thing is that you go to the source of creation. You go to the source which is responsible for all the joy of creativity. And, <clears throat> and the night helps in that. You are alone with yourself. You don't have ego. You have no disturbances from the material world. And you can be with your you know, own true self and uh, <clears throat> allow it to uh, function. Actually, when you are in a concentrated form, when you have meditation, uh, when you are meditating on the canvas, then uh, there is no less ego and sometimes there is no ego at all. There is no realization of that I. That I. So the real I paints that time, the soul. So the uh, essence, the, the uh, consciousness which is there in all over the nature, in all the uh, forms of nature is there inside you also. And that, when that paints, it's so joyful, you know, the, then you experience that creative process taking place. You experience that happening, that thing which is happening, which is so beautiful and so enjoyable. Has your color palette always been like this? Or did you experiment with different kind of colors? Because I'm looking at a painting which is here, which has a pretty strong, very, maybe if you could please come here and which is very different from what we just saw. Yeah, this is the color of Singapore. Actually, my daughter is studying here. And, you know, that shows that I love this country because I have sent my daughter to study here. She is pursuing painting course at La Salle College. So, uh, this is a symbolic color of, you know, strength. Red is power, courage and strength. And you see the lion symbol here for the lion country. The fish is there. Then this is a symbol of love and peace. The wing is in the shape of a heart, and she is folding her hands, Buddha like. So that's a peace symbol. So I created a new uh, symbol of love and peace, and this is my, you know, <coughs> uh, uh, this shows my feelings for this country, my love for this country, and this uh, has a historical connotation. Like I read about a prince who discovered Singapore, uh, and he saw an image like a lion and he gave this country name Singapore up and this boat shows that journey which he took to discover this island then there's a wheel which shows progress and there are two uh, twin sisters in India we call them we can call them Riddhi Siddhi the auspicious creatures uh, like angels they are bringing a golden orb as a gift so this actually this red portion the whole red it's an it's a red envelope you can see the flap on top of it. So the red envelope itself is a concept which is <coughs> uh, popular in India as well as in Singapore. Uh, on a special occasion, we give some gift to uh, in a red envelope, which is considered very auspicious. So I am giving not a gift of monetary value, but I am giving my love and you know uh, peaceful vibrations uh, in this envelope. So this red envelope becomes uh, uh, my feeling for this country. Neerajji, what do you do during the day? During since you're most day? since you're yeah. most alive at night, yeah. what, what really happens during the day? I prepare for the night actually. Okay. So actually, uh, I sit before the work. Whatever I've done at the night, I enjoy during the day when I'm very conscious and I become a 
person who is appreciating, you know, as a second person. So, and the day involves other things also related with the world or the family life. But uh, for meditating and for, you know, concentrating or contemplating on your work, I find the night, starting from the evening actually, it extends till 3 o'clock in the morning. Then I go to sleep. And day, uh, whatever other things I have to do, you know, travel or that is done during the day. Did you always know, know that you wanted to be an artist or was there a moment in time when you said, okay, abhi, you know, artist no, I was always it. an artist. Okay. See, always an artist. When I was just five years old, uh, there was an inspection at my school in Patna. I was born in Patna and uh, I drew an elephant on a board, you know, standing on a stool because I was very short. So, that came in the paper that he'll become a very uh, big painter someday. So the, these things encouraged me and the destiny pushed me towards that. A lot of encouragement from my family, and in my school, in my college. And <clears throat> I realized that I couldn't do anything else. So you see, when you realize your own, uh, what you want to do in life, then I think you should pursue it with 100% you know, energy and with all your potential. What does being an artist mean to you? Well, I'm, being an artist is like uh, <coughs> moving towards self-realization actually. Uh, I have seen life very closely, observed it, experienced it, and I have realized that <coughs> uh, taking the human form on this planet, the main purpose is to know uh, the real essence in you. The, which you can call soul or consciousness, whatever you want to give word to it. But uh, the thing which, you know, is responsible for breathing, is responsible for all the finer emotions, for experiences, for uh, knowledge, for wisdom, for the real joy in life. So the more you move closer to that, you become more enlightened, you become more a human being, you become more, you know, a part of this nature. So the art or the painting has helped me, you know, connecting with the, that consciousness within me. So I think that is what I feel, being a painter has helped me and I am very lucky to be a painter. That way. Yeah, thank you so much. This is Unplugged with Deepika Shetty. I'm in conversation with Neeraj Goswami. His art is part of Kala Sutra 2014 that showed at the Arts House.